Live from Portsmouth, Shokano presents three five-minute rounds in a professional mixed martial arts lightweight contest. Introducing first in the blue corner with a record of one defeat, weighing in at 154.1 pounds. Representing Militants MMA, fighting out of Budapest, Hungary, Adam Dimitrovic. And his opponent in the red corner also with a record of one defeat. Weighing in at 155.6 pounds, representing Zion Jim from Andover, Charlie Cast. Co-main event here at Shock and Awe 34. We're now in the pro ranks. Charlie Guest from Zion Gym in the red corner. His opponent, Adam Dimitrovic from Militants MMA in the blue. Now we see the elbows and the knees allowed here. Colin, this is where it gets interesting. It does, it gets exciting now. And uh, a few more tools to play with.
Guest for on Shock and Awe, 31.5 in the main event against Kai Stevens, who is our main event today. He lost a unanimous decision, but that's a testament to his skill set and durability. He's great striker, he's a Muay Thai specialist, likes to open with the leg kicks to gauge the distance. He does, and he's looking a bit bigger than Adam. Dimitrovic's unbeaten as an amateur and very hungry to get back into the winning column. His last fight was a bloody affair, but he didn't quit. It was stopped due to a cut. Yes, Charlie Guest stalking at the moment, using his range. Oh, oh nice takedown. Dimitrovic's looking for the back here. Both hooks in. Can we see another upset? I mean, he's hunting for that neck. Both athletes 0-1 in the pro ranks. So both looking for that one in the winning column. Yeah, both looking for it. Both hungry for it. I think Charlie's doing a good job, though, defending this uh, back position. Two on one, probably probably waiting for his moment to get his back out. I mean, he can't really go left because of the because of the fence. Um, yeah, moving right, it's a good possibility. That'll be turtles instead. Dimitrovic follows the back, looking to stick the right arm underneath the chin. Inhibited, like you say, by the cage a little bit with regard to his ability to choke. And that's why he's maneuvering away from the cage. Now he fires the right arm underneath the chin. Yeah, smart move. He lost the hook on the bottom, but, I mean, that's not going to matter too much. He's crossed his feet anyway, so he's still got control of the hips. It's just whether Charlie can maneuver himself around. Charlie looking for the top position and gets it. Now the affordance of elbows are allowed here under the pro rule set. So if Guest can start to put his hand on the face and fire the elbows in from that top position, he can start to look to open the cuts. Yeah, and I mean, it doesn't take much at all. You know, a, a few inches downward is enough to cut. Heavy ground and pound from Guest. Dimitrovic's trying to kick him away. Unhooks the leg. There's the elbows. Charlie's got to be careful about the uh, triangle attempt. Yeah, he's just put himself into the triangle there. Left one arm in, one arm out. Dimitrovic's looking for the armbar potentially. Guess squares back into the full guard. Dimitrovic with the up kicks. Got to be careful about the up kick to a ground fighter. Yeah, I mean that. I mean he was grounded there, wasn't he? Yeah, he was definitely down. And Dimitrovic eating these punches here. He can fire elbows from that bottom position as well. He can frame on the face of Guest and slice with the elbows. Gets a lot more conservative with his ground and pound now because he's trying to avoid the submission attempts of Dimitrovic's Nice elbows from that top position. He'll strike and he'll retract and stay away from the triangle entry. Yeah, solid work. And we're, we're in the, the pro uh, time, uh, sorry, the pro rounds now. So the time's five minutes around. A bit more time to work. Guest is known for his savage elbows. That also translates when the fight is grounded, as we're seeing him here, slam them in from that top position. And if he's done his homework and seen the previous fight of Dimitrovic, that's exactly how he lost it. He got cut with an elbow in the bottom position and the fight was stopped. Looks like there's some blood. Let's we'll see which athlete it was coming from. I think it's Charlie Guest's nose by the looks of it.
Referee just give a little warning there to Adam about the grounded up kicks. So if it, if it landed a bit cleaner, is there a possibility of, of more of a penalty there? Or Because he was definitely grounded. I think he was on his knees when he got kicked. But Yeah, if, if it was a clean shot that changed the outcome of the fight, then there's something the ref's got to look at. I mean, if it was just a glancing blow, there's a warning. You know, it didn't didn't really do any damage, didn't cause guests to be wobbled or, you know, I think the, the warning's there. But, I mean, Dimitrovic's now from that bottom position. He's got to make sure that if he fires those up kicks, guess has got to be up, not have a hand or a knee down. Round two, co-main event, guest in the red, Dimitrovic in the blue. Pro at mixed martial arts action at 155 pounds. Dimitrovic hands down a little bit as he comes in. Another one of those awkward fighters, but unpredictable. Drops down for the single, swing and a miss though from Guess. Guess looking for the knees to the head again, available underneath the Pro Mix Martial Arts rule set. Beautiful knees to the head. Seems like the nose of uh, Guess is giving a little bit of trouble. He's wiped that off a couple times. Could be a broken nose there for Guest. But conversely as well, there's blood seeping from the nose of Dimitrovic. Yeah, they're both, uh, both bleeding. Big knees from Guest. Huge knees to the head. Doubling up now. Firing the elbows in close range as well. Oh. Knee to the head. Huge strikes. Dimitrovic has got to negate that distance or promote a further distance. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> and the back fist as well. Heavy hips and the elbows here. Beautiful oh. elbows from that position. That's going to open up a cart here. Heavy hammer. hammer. Oh, damaging elbows from this top position. Hammering down with the elbows. Oh, Looks like Dimitrovic oh, is wow. out. He's out. Charlie Guess with the thunderous elbows from the top position. Puts his uh, opponent unconscious here in the Guild Hall in Portsmouth at Shock and All 34. We spoke about the affordance of the knees and the elbows being available under the pro rule set. Look at this replay here, Colin. I mean, like 15 unanswered elbows, and you can see the blood. I mean, he only takes one of those to cut. Charlie Guest maneuvers his way to one win and one loss in the pro ranks. Excellent utilization of the elbows. Yeah, and you, you mentioned how he likes to use them. I mean, perfectly done, you know, totally legal from that as well, because it, he wasn't spiking from what, 12 to six. Yeah, he wasn't spiking from 12 to six, so per perfectly legal. And it's a tough position, like you want the takedown so much and you're holding on, but when you've got 15 unanswered elbows to the head, it's gonna, it's gonna make a damage. Again, the medics doing their best, making sure fire safety, number one. One of those positions as well, as an amateur, you don't really worry too much. No knees to the head, no elbows to the head. So you spend too much time there. Sometimes when you go into the pro ranks, if you don't address that in training and, and be fully aware that that's available, you can come into trouble. We saw a perfect example of that here.
some attention from the medics here for Adam, but we will shortly hand it over to our MC, Mr. Ricky Wright. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Andy Nichols calls stop the contest at 1 minute and 39 seconds of round number two. For your winner by knockout, Charlie Guest!